everyone, Vi Farley here, December 10th, got a college basketball best bet for you. Just one second, I'm going to break a game down, 5 o'clock tip tonight. Um, I'm going to get to it in one second. Uh, it's good to be back, first of all. Um, uh, just got back from Vegas, um, a place where I take a lot of pride in winning uh, over the weekend. Uh, over the years, for the last 20 years, uh, I've taken quite a bit of money from Vegas in uh, sports capping, but this year was a little bit different. Uh, wasn't even planning on going this year because of COVID, so ended up uh, glad I got a trip in, but a uh, little overplayed, let's put it that way. Um, played a little more games than I normally would. Had a profitable college football Saturday, profitable uh, NFL Sunday, uh, won, won uh, seven of the 10 games. Uh, that I played, but then just overplayed on college basketball and uh, ended up down a little bit because running into the night. Uh, and then I took some props on the Sunday night game. And anyway, um, great trip. But the other thing I'm going to take away from this, and if if there's a recommendation out there, I'd love to hear it. I should have asked this before I went down there, but I'm not staying on the strip ever again. Uh, unless something changes, Vegas has changed. They, the cost of a beer was $9 a beer on the strip. I couldn't believe it. Um, that was not the case. It used to be complimentary drinks or free drinks as long as you're sports betting. As much as I play, it's never been a problem. In fact, I have too much drink tickets and I'm giving them away. Uh, but I normally would stay off the strip. I like the station casinos. Um, I like the low key. I like the, the lines and then uh, quality service. And it's a good venue. Man, I stayed on the strip. There was a cost to sit there. There was a rental charge if you wanted the remote. The beers were $9 a piece. I don't know why they're deterring people from spending their money at the casino. But, uh, I mean, I, I, I left. I was at Caesars. And so I uh, ended up watching at the Venetian um, once all was said and done because they didn't charge me to just sit there um, while I was watching the games. Anyway, side note. Good to be back. Uh, excited here to get back on track here with college basketball on a split day yesterday, uh, going four and four. Uh, I think we'll see a little bit of a reduction in plays here over the next couple weeks as we start getting into conference play. Um, that said, that sounds a little far into the season. Speaking of tonight's best bet, we have a team that is yet to play a game uh, here this season, going against another team that has played some of the top competition. So. Um, let me get to that in one second. If you haven't subscribed, take a second to do so. Also, all my plays are posted on patreon.com slash five Farley. You can see that in the, in the uh, description down below. Um, all plays are posted over there. All right. Now, tonight, five o'clock tip off. Gardner Webb is going to play Western Kentucky. Now, Gardner Webb has had five games postponed against Duke, against Florida State, um, Campbell already, Presbyterian. All those games postponed because of COVID. Now they're getting their first game against Western Kentucky, a team that is uh, offensively one of the best in Conference USA, and just overall one of the one of the better uh, um, you know mid majors out there. Currently, Ken Palm has them at seventy sixth. Um, that's at a ten point five points better than your average team. Um, but their strength of schedule so far in the five games they've played is fortieth in the country. So looking back, they played. Uh, uh, Northern Iowa, Memphis, West Virginia, Louisville. They split those four games and then uh, and then played Mississippi Valley State, one of the worst teams in the country. Um, Gardner-Webb, on the other hand, haven't played a game yet. Um, that wouldn't be as big of concern if we had veterans there on the Gardner-Webb team. Um, a lot of, uh, well, they have a, a Maryland transfer coming in. They have two overseas players coming in. Um, three of their or their top three point scorers from last year are gone. So they have a younger team. They have a team that is going to need some maturing throughout this year. This is not going to be a very good, very pretty start for them against a Western Kentucky team that uh, offensively is ranked 48th in the country, according to Ken Palm. Um, line open at 17 is now up to 19. I think we have a great spot to take Western Kentucky in basically a mismatch of a team playing their sixth game of the season versus one coming out pretty rusty at zero games uh, so far under their belt. I mean, they're several weeks behind everyone else, and uh, this is not a good matchup 
for them, especially with an offense so skilled as Western Kentucky's is. Um, and again, the transfers, the new players, the freshmen, um, leads me to think Gardner Webb's going to need a little more time uh, to hang with a team like uh, the Hilltoppers. So uh, give me Western Kentucky. I'll lay the 19. Best bet of the day. Good luck, everyone, today, and we'll see you again soon.